Hey guys, Lewis here, and in today's video, I want to do a Code Gym review. So I'm on the Code Gym website right now, and essentially the answers, the the questions I want to give answers to are, uh, what is it that makes Code Gym special, and is it actually worth the price? Because Code Gym is actually a paid service, so you're not going to be able to do it for free. But is it worth it, and how does it compare to other competitors? So the first thing I want to talk about uh, first, and I'm going to talk about pricing a little bit later, but I want to talk about the UVP, so the unique value proposition of Code Gym. What makes it unique? So uh, Code Gym, uh, you know, it's not like the other online learning platforms like uh, LinkedIn Learning or Pluralsight or uh, you know that kind of stuff. With Code Gym, there's only one course, one very long, very comprehensive course and it's the Java course. So you'll see that there are a bunch of quests and lessons, but really all of these are part of the same course of the same uh, program, you could say. I, I suppose it's a more uh, appropriate term. So um, you have the list of you know tasks here, which belong to the course. You will have to do all of them. And with all of these plus the projects, I would say that you should count about 300 to 500 hours of really hands-on sort of programming, you know, practice with Java. So with Code Gym, as I said, all they do is Java programming. The goal of Code Gym is to get you from total newbie, don't know how to code, to getting a Java developer job. Okay, so you're not going to become like an expert Java developer, but you're going to have pretty good knowledge on Java development, very in-depth knowledge, certainly more knowledge than the average you know, guy who just went to college, got a bachelor's degree or a master's degree and just arrived at this Java developer uh, job. You're going to be much more specialized. So uh, this is all they do, Java development. Now, as far as pricing goes, I'm on the pricing page here and the pricing is likely to change over time. It used to be different. So I'm gonna put a link in the description box of this video. You can click the link and I'll make sure to update the link so that it leads you to the latest uh, you know, discounts on Code Gym. Plus there's also a uh, you know, free access to the first uh, uh, levels of Code Gym if you click the link in the description. So make sure to click on it. Now, as far as the pricing goes, you have the premium plan, which is, you know, you get access to all of the, the content, the basic content of the, the, the Java program. And uh, that's basically it. Now with the premium mentor and premium mentor pro, you get access to a mentor. So, um, so what I mean by that is that with the premium mentor, uh, plan you get access to weekly uh, group sessions you know like on like on you know video and you can actually chat with your mentor uh, on uh, you know via chat and ask questions and stuff like that uh, that mentor is actually also going to check uh, your projects and you can ask questions and stuff like that with premium mentor pro and as you can uh, see here it's a lot more expensive but what you get is actually everything in premium mentor plus five hours of mentor um, consults so every month you get five hours of just you can talk with your mentor on the phone and uh, have that mentor help you and give you advice and stuff like that for five hours so it comes down to twenty dollars uh, per hour when you compare uh, premium mentor pro with premium mentor I'm not gonna tell you which plan to get honestly I think if you're really like someone who's trying to break into the you know get a job in the industry as a Java developer uh, even the premium mentor uh, premium mentor pro plan $200 a month that's worth considering right because yeah, it's two hundred dollars a month, but think about how much you're going to be paid as a Java developer later on. So you have you want to have all the chances stacked on on your side of the table. And uh, another thing I, I'd like to mention is that you know these are subscription plans, so you, it's not like a one-time fee. You can cancel anytime you want, so it's it's really not. Uh, there's no uh, risk here. So let me get into more of the like the content of Code Gym. As I said, you know, Code Gym is all about preparing you for a Java developer job. The goal at the end is that you have a Java developer job. It contains everything that you need in order to actually be good at your job. And uh, the course is actually 
uh, I'm on a lesson page here. There is some theory, right? There's quite a lot of theory, but 80% of the course of, I would say the time that you're gonna spend in the course is going to be, <clears throat> excuse me, it's going to be practical. So it's going, going to be tasks. It's going to be projects where you're actually coding, you're thinking, and 20% of it is going to be theory. So uh, the course actually takes the form of an interactive game. So there's a whole you know storyline, story line, which makes it pretty entertaining. It's not like dry like most of the websites, uh, most of the uh, e-learning platforms out there. And in the course, the way it's structured essentially is that you have four quests in total, and each quest actually has uh, 10 lessons each, uh, 10 levels each. So you have 40 levels in total. You have, you know, in those lessons, in those uh, levels, you have uh, lessons, which are pretty small compared with the tasks and the projects. So you have lessons, tasks, and projects. Um, I would say overall, that if you want to complete a uh, code gym, it's going to take about six months if you invest about, let's say, 10 hours per week. So it is quite a time investment, right? Because the, 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 the syllabus is quite comprehensive. It is a time investment, but at the end of it, you're guaranteed to have the skill set necessary for a Java developer. So overall, you have about you know uh, 1,200 you know tasks and projects that you're going to have to complete. Again, you know about six months. These are not like huge tasks or huge projects, but there are a lot of them. Um, there is an you know if you go on the on the lesson page here, uh, you'll see that actually you have the tasks uh, at the end here, and I'm going to click on open this task. It's actually going to open uh, an IDE, you know, a, a development environment, and there is going to be. I can code here, and I can also. There is an automatic ver uh, verification system that is going to check your code and check your solution. Those, so this is quite nice. These are the tasks, and about halfway through the program, you're actually going to start doing the project. So it's not right from the start, right? You don't have the 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 experience necessary. It's going to be about halfway. There's also at the end, you know, because getting a Java developer job is not necessarily just about your skills. You're also going to have to, you know, go through the interview process and they also have uh, lessons, you know, preparing you specifically for Java developer, uh, you know, interviews, which can be a little bit tricky. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about the stuff that I don't really like about Code Gym, stuff that you should be aware of. So the first thing is, uh, you know, right from the start, you're actually going to have uh, technical tasks. So you're going to need to, you know, code right away from the start. Uh, I feel like, you know, if you're a newbie, you could use more theory, you know, at the start. But I guess, you know, Code Gym is all about, you know, it's like Code Gym. It's about really being hands on right away. But I feel a little bit, a little bit more theory would would be great. Now, uh, as you've noticed, uh, the second con I'm going to mention here is that it's mostly text content. And personally, I like it because I find that, you know, reading content is a lot faster than actually, you know, listening or watching uh, videos. You can read about 250 words per minute if you're reading, whereas when you're listening to a video, uh, it's going to be about 150 words per minute. So Code Gym is going to enable you to do those things faster. But at the same time, I realize that some people actually prefer uh, video content. Now, there are some videos sometimes, you know, like for this lesson, for example, you have a video here, it's uh, quite comprehensive, but the main content for most of the lessons, it's going to be text based. I like this, but I realize that not everyone is going to like that. Uh, with the text content, as I said, you know, the speed is going to be, you're going to be able to complete the lessons faster because we read faster than we than you know like listening to a video and also the content is going to be much much more up to date because we you know with code gym it's uh any e-learning platform for them it's easier to maintain uh you know text content and maintain it make sure it's up to date compared with videos where you have to you know shoot the videos and edit them edit them and so on so that's that's sort of my opinion on this 
Another con, and I don't know that this is really a con, but for some people it's important, is that there's you're not going to have a certification with Code Gym, right? At the end of the program, you will not have a certification. I always think of those certifications on you know e-learning sites as being sort of gimmicky. You know, it's not really that valuable. I don't think employers actually put a lot of weight on those certifications. Uh, but you know, nevertheless, it can be motivating for some people. So that's basically it. That's that was my code gym review. If you like this video, I'm gonna link you to um, some other reviews. I've also reviewed, you know, Udacity, which is an other website. If you want to get into tech, it's not just for Java. So click on this video if you're interested. And if not, I'll see you in the next video.